how you doing? Happy New Year. Haven't uh, done any videos for a while, but today I'm going to show you Alia by John Renault. I think it's Alia, not Alia. I don't know, I guess it could be either one. Uh, I've got three colors to show you. This one is 6F27, and I've also got FS1224B, which is cinnamon syrup. And the third one's going to be 12 FS8 Shaded Praline. So, let me get my stuff on my head so I can do this. Uh, here's where my hair's at. So far, it's uh, had a bit of a rough day, I guess. I'm not used to wearing just my hair. I try to do it on the weekends to give, give my roots a break. And I, I've actually got a little bit of eyeshadow in there, which maybe has worn off a little bit, but... Anyway, I'm going to get my wig grip on and my wig cap and try these on, so hang on. I'm having a bit of trouble with this haircut because of the way it sort of bulks under my wig cap. I got that on right, yeah. You can tell it's on right if uh, I'm pulling the edge and it's gripping the hair as I pull it back. Um, Otherwise, that would have just slipped right off. We got it on inside out. Oh well. So it helps. It's been helping if I put this on and then also put a wig cap on. And it just kind of holds my hair in place as opposed to having clips because this is. It sort of sticks out and I can feel it. It feels a bit bulky under my wigs. So I'll just have to wait until it gets long enough that I can clip it up properly. That's flapping around. I like to, not just because I'm trying on wigs that I are not mine to keep, but also uh, when they're monotop with the realistic look, I like to have sort of a something the same color as my own flesh underneath it to just help with that realistic look. There, now I'm feeling pretty. So, Alia in 6F27. Oh, I should have looked up what color that is. I should know. Is, is it walnut syrup? I think it's... I, once again, not prepared, but I will uh, write it down in the description section. So, it's got uh, gold. It's dark base of a six, obviously, and then 27 highlights, so very gold. Sort of a chocolate caramel. Maybe it's a bunch of caramel. Blend. But inside of the cap, you've got the lace front and the mono top. It's not double double monofilament. It's just a regular single filament, or I don't know, single mono top. So let me get that realistic. Uh, God, I'm out of touch with doing these. Sorry, I'm more babbling than than usual, aren't I? Um, so here we go. It's funny, the edge is just a little bit bent, so you want to make sure that's smooth against your forehead when you're putting it on. I think it is. Pull that up to the hairline. Get your ear tabs in the right place. So I've got indirect, it's a sunny day out today, afternoon in the winter, indirect sunlight. It's not coming in here directly. So that's just come out of the box like that. The bangs are going in the way that I would actually like them to. Uh, lace front, I'll just see if that'll focus in so you can see. I can't tell. I hope it's focusing for you. I like that they've got... Uh, sort of the highlight at the front so there's less contrast, for me anyway, with my pale skin. Uh, if I was going to wear this, I'd want my own color to work a bit better with it, but pull that out to blend with it. Uh, let's turn around. I'm so ill prepared, I don't even have my new mirror that I bought to make this easier. Yeah. 
It's one of the things I love about the wig grip is it's maybe not 100% safe to do it. There's one or two hairs that will often come out in the beginning. But you can, it gives enough of a grip you could do that to it without, uh, you know, as long as you're a little bit gentle with it, it shouldn't pull the wig off your head, but you can change the part. See, that's where, actually that's, the hair itself is darker there. It's sort of banded in the way that they've done the highlighting. I am rambling on way too much. Sorry about that. It's been a while. I'm out of, out of tune. All right, next one is cinnamon syrup coming up. Okay, so I just went and had a look, and 6F27 is caramel ribbon, and I just made the camera bounce all over. Sorry. All right. So, this is caramel syrup. No, it's not. <laughs> Sorry. Caramel ribbon was the last one I had on. This is cinnamon syrup, and it's almost like a lighter version. And there we go. I, so, I should have gotten closer with the other one, sorry. Cinnamon syrup. Allie is just a nice bob. It's almost um, like a more of a bob version of rosy in the way it's got that sort of flip going on there. At the back. Just sort of as it hits the shoulder, at least that's how it hits on, on me. Uh, I just love this cinnamon syrup. And it is, <laughs> I should just film this whole thing over again, but you know I'm not going to. I'm just going to shoot it and go. So I just wanted to show you the hairline, if I can get the camera to stop shaking. And also... Little stretch test to grab my own hair there. Ow. So it's a pretty good stretch. And this, all three of these are the average cap size that I'm showing you, by the way. Alright, now for shaded praline. Praline. Which is one I've decided to keep for myself, so I hope I can make it look right. Decided, I just got this in my order yesterday. And uh, I've been wearing posh. I've just, uh, I've just kept wearing posh. I just, uh, you know, it's you get comfortable with the wig, and I love it. And even though I haven't loved, you know, the bit of the line at the hairline and the fact that it's been digging into my forehead a bit, I still love the wig. So I've been wearing it ever since I first uh, posted on it, with the exception of um, uh, maybe on weekends I try to go without wigs, or I might put a different one on just to shake it up a little bit, but. Um, so this is shaded praline, hairline, a little bit darker at the root. I'm going to uh, shut the camera off in a second and come back with my eyeshadow and show what I did to try to blend it a bit last night because it is a bit of a dark root on my skin tone and as long as the hair is looking, you know, sort of covering, it's fine if it's sort of shading and covering it a bit, but if it blows black back I just feel on me that it is a bit harsh looking so I've actually a bit of a line is kind of a main look doing that <laughs> yeah that's where it looks funny okay let me just show you all around I can't help it I love the cinnamon syrup and I, you know, I put that one on and I think, oh, I should wear this color. But then I put on the shaded praline and I can't help it. I just love it. And it doesn't necessarily mean it's the best color for me. I just love the look of the color, even if it's just lying on the table. Um, so let me get my eyeshadow and show you. Hopefully I can make it work now. Soften up the edge a little bit with some taupe eyeshadow. And... Alrighty. So I've got my, it's a MAC brush I've had forever. And it's just round, completely rounded. And I like that one because I'm not getting any um, lines or hard edges on it. And I've also been using MAC eyeshadow that's sort of a taupe color. 
Um, I figure if I'm trying to blend the edge from this color to my pasty white skin, it's best to find a tone that's sort of between the two. And I didn't buy it for this. Uh, I just happen to have it, so that's what I'm using. And what shade is it? Omega. O-M-E-G-A. Let's see if you can see that. You can. So it's a matte eyeshadow. You don't want to have anything sparkly. Uh, so I'll just... <laughs> I'm not good at doing makeup on film. Anyway. Oh, see, I haven't... I'm not used to doing it in the camera like this. Let me see. I'm going to use my mirror. This is... I hope this doesn't end up looking really sucky. Because, uh... It looked okay last night. At least I thought it did. <laughs> and I also had a bit of a bit of tanning powder on to take away some of the glare of my skin. I don't know if that just made me look like I'm bruised along my hairline, but I thought it looked okay. This is what I've been doing with my posh wig to sort of tone down the edge of it. And usually I do that and it doesn't look like very much and I get home at the end of the day and I've, I will have done more of it on posh, but then I, then you can see just how much is there. So what I try to do is actually pull the wig back and because if something makes my wig pull back a bit, you don't want that edge just glaring at anybody. It's, you know, you've got a shot of them not noticing unless you've got that edge poking up. So, yeah, I've just done that along the front edge, but I've also found here. I feel like I'm putting dirt on my face. I don't know. It's not a huge difference. It just... Oops. <laughs> I'm a pro. <laughs> it just helps take down the edge. And I've actually got a darker brown eyeshadow that I sort of blended because that's, that's a more harsh edge there if the wind were to blow back. But, yeah, I haven't been able to get um, Joan Rivers uh, Great Hair Day powder yet. Um, our Canadian shopping channel doesn't have it in stock in my color, of course, so I'm just waiting to pounce on it when it comes in. But Anyway, this might be my new do. Um, Hopefully I'm not going to look like I'm walking around with a bruised forehead. But yeah, so I wore it out the first time last night to uh, to a little little pub with a couple of some friends, and um, by the end of the and it felt fine. I don't know if it was sticking out in the back or not, but yeah, I was having something going on at the, the end of the evening, and I don't know if a piece had come there, but I had this thing just sort of in my face, and so I kept trying to. Pull it away, and the next thing I know, I'd be back down again. This glob of hair in my face, and yeah, like that I was doing. And I think all I needed to do was put it the other side. But because I hadn't thought to take a little mirror, I couldn't see it. So I kept trying to put it the wrong way. So my advice to you is always make sure you have a little mirror so you can check what the heck's going on with your hair, so you're not fighting something that you don't really even need to fight. Anyway, I have rambled on way too long. I'm sorry for that. A long time no see. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for watching, especially if you got to this point. 